way in the door today, you should have gotten a Chromebook and your journal. And um, in your Chromebook, you should have gone ahead, logged into Schoology, and began the warm up for this week. So if you look at the top of your Schoology for this class, you're gonna see that our image has changed just like I promised it would. When I click on Monday, um, I have kind of the um, information about what we're going to be doing today. Notice I've included some due dates for you on the board. So your first round of Quidditch is due September 16th, which for regular science classes, they only owe me one Quidditch project. And you choose, it's a menu, you choose one thing. Honors, y'all are going to owe me two Quidditch projects, okay? Um, honors, you also have your six weeks project due the 18th. It's a element superhero okay and if you click those links you're going to get the information that you need about both of those projects so let's go ahead and look at our warm-ups for today log into the nearpod use my real name oh i went too far so today it's an open-ended question um, and our focus for this week is science lab safety so you're supposed to look at this image and identify five safety procedures that are not being followed. What do y'all see? Yes, ma'am. I see um, there's a kid in the back here in the bottom corner smelling the flashing, not watching it. Yes, we're never supposed to smell directly from a beaker or a flask. We're supposed to waft that odor. Oh, no. What other things do y'all see? Somebody's not wearing goggles or using chemicals. Right. So we've got people without their safety goggles on when they're obviously using chemicals. Yes, sir. The chocolate fabric wears um, that lady's taste and the liquid. <laughs> yeah, let's not drink the things from the beakers. Not a good life choice. Yes, ma'am. Um, the lady's taste and the liquid. Anything else? Drink the things from the beakers. Not a good life choice. Anything else? Let's stay in the corner. Let's care. There's all kinds of stuff in this, right? Uh, what went on? What went on the kid down there in the other very bottom? I, I don't know if that kid is like is he thirsty thirsty or is is he sleeping I I don't know but whatever he's doing it doesn't look right maybe he's on fire maybe he's wrapped up in the fire blanket I don't know um at least he's in the fire blanket if that's the case um there's definitely like horseplay there's somebody playing with a paper airplane I think this person is like lighting some napkins on fire for funsies um Something's happening. Oh my gosh, he's dropping a plugged in radio into a sink of water. That's also a poor choice. I can't even see this one. Um, it is kind of a blurry image, but obviously, like we get the gist. Be a legitimate human. Don't be ridiculous. Oh. Use common sense and, and you're you're gonna be fine. But obviously there's some people in this image that are not using common sense. Um so you just type your answer here and then hit submit for me, and that would be the end of your warm-up for today. So our objective is that we are still researching how we know what we know about atoms. We started this project on Friday. It's that um, Google Slides research project. I allowed you to work alone or with one partner. We're going to continue that today. But before we do that, we need to take another look at our Cornell notes from last week. So go ahead and take those out of the front pocket of your journal for me. So we're gonna do a couple of things today. Um, well, so normally I would have you swap papers with a neighbor and you would read over each other's notes and add anything to them that you felt like your neighbor missed, but you know, Corona. So I guess let's keep our own set of notes and let's do this instead. Find an elbow partner. You, so you need to make eye contact with one other person in the room decide that they're your quote-unquote elbow partner if you're working at home alone you could do this with a sibling or a parent or sure talk to your dog it's just a point of, of talking out loud so I need elbow partners one of you needs to choose to be chicken nuggets the other one needs to choose to be dipping sauce you can choose your flavor sweet and sour barbecue honey it doesn't matter McNuggets all the way. All right, here's what I need. I need my chicken nuggets to turn to my dipping sauce 
and give them a brief synopsis, a summary of what your first chunk of notes is about now. In your own words, summarize your first chunk. All right, dipping sauce, turn to your nugget. Give your nugget a brief synopsis of what the second chunk of notes is over. Hey. Oh, yes, you need your mouse. This is, I feel like I can't wait anymore. There you go. You're welcome. All right. We're back to are nuggies. We, nuggies. Hey, nuggies, tell your sauce about the third chunk of notes. Oh. So, um, simple. 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 All right, sauces, whatever, what chunk, are we on the fourth or fifth? I don't know, whatever chunk we're on. Fourth chunk, sauces, tell your nuggies about what's in the fourth chunk. All right, now we're back on nuggies. Hey, nuggies, tell your sauces about chunk five. And do we have one more or two more chunks? One more, one more chunk. So last chunk. We're on sauce. Sauces. Finish it out. Last chunk. When you are done, you can fold your Cornell Notes hamburger style and put them back in the front pocket of your journal. We've got two more days with these notes, and then we'll finally be done with them. Wait, do we have adjusted due dates? No. Good, because Kirk Elton likes to accept immediately because then I'll play the methodic class. Huh? They'll play the class. Yeah, I know. All right. So today you're going to continue working on that History of an Atom project. Um, however, I realize that we work at different paces. Some of you will probably finish today. Some of you will probably need all of the time today and tomorrow. So what I've done, I've put inside of Google Classroom an additional fin early finisher assignment. So if you'll scroll down in your Google Classroom, look in first six weeks, look in welcome to week three, there is assignment for those who finish the history of an atom project before end of Tuesday, all right? So all it is, guys, you've got two um, new Newzella, Newzella articles to read. Um, they're relevant to kind of what we're studying right now. Once you read those two articles, which I honestly don't think is going to take you a long time, the other things that you can choose to work on are those Quidditch projects and your six weeks project. Now those are individual work, so once you're done, if you're working in a group for your slides project, once you're done with that, you need to roll into your Quidditch and your other one by yourself. Now you can still discuss it, but you can't like 
both work on the same project and submit it to me. You each need to have your own projects. Everyone understand? Give me a thumbs up if you understand. All right, that's the gist for today. Um, I do want to show you one more thing because I know that you enjoy our jams in class so much. Like you're at home and you're like, man, I wish I could listen to that music that Miss Stoley plays. True, true, true. true, right? So within our app, we've got it on Schoology, but it also should be on our phones. If we click on eighth grade science honors, we click on coursework, um, we're in the first six weeks, we're in week three. So if you clicked on week three, you'd see this image. It's at the top of Schoology. But look down here at the bottom, it says RC1. That stands for reporting category one. Here's the playlist that I play in class. Yeah. So at any point, if you want to torture your family members at home, you've got it. At home learners, you're not in the room. So if you really want to experience what they're experiencing in class, that's what you need to have for your easy listening. All right, guys, this is your five minute warning. So go ahead and finish up whatever you're working on on your slides presentation and we need to get back to Schoology and we need to complete the exit ticket for Monday. <laughs> so it is Missed You Monday. What was the highlight of your weekend? A highlighter. A highlighter? I'm kidding. No, that's the highlight. Right? So type your answer if you want to include an image not dying. That's positive. Good job. Thank you for that. Um, that's definitely, positive. definitely a positive. So get your answers submitted. Once you're done, you're going to log out of your Chromebooks, get them back in the correct numbered spot in the Chrome cart and plugged in, and then you can put away your journals. Oh, now that's exciting.